the relationship between efficiency, mechanical advantage, and velocity ratio. So one by one, see the formulas. Efficiency we have work output over work input. Okay. Mechanical advantage we have load upon effort, and velocity ratio we have velocity of effort over velocity of load or displacement of effort over displacement of load. Now we know that efficiency as work output. What is the meaning of work output? Work output means we have load into displacement of load and here we have work input means effort into displacement of effort. Now here carefully see load upon effort we got it as load upon effort just separate this displacement of load over displacement of effort separate. Load upon effort we have mechanical advantage okay and displacement of load over displacement of effort actually velocity ratio is displacement of effort over displacement of load just reciprocal so displacement of load over displacement of effort we got it as 1 over velocity ratio now put the value as 1 over velocity ratio so here efficiency we got it as mechanical advantage over velocity ratio so basically this is the formula of efficiency in terms of mechanical advantage and velocity ratio so mechanical advantage efficiency we got it as mechanical advantage over velocity ratio so multiply here will uh, mechanical advantage we got it as efficiency into velocity ratio now here we have some important points carefully see for an ideal machine efficiency is 100 percent 100 percent means 100 by 100 1 when efficiency is 1 mechanical advantage and velocity ratios are equal clear next we have when a machine is actual machine when machine is actual efficiency is less than 100 percent for example efficiency is 90 percent 90 percent means 0 0.9 so when you put the value here 0 0.9 so mechanical advantage is equals to 0 0.9 into velocity ratio so mechanical advantage value will decrease so this is very very important point carefully see when the machine is actual means efficiency is less than 100 percent then mechanical advantage value is less than velocity ratio but when the machine is ideal then efficiency is 100 percent mechanical advantage is equals to velocity ratio and here if uh, machine is actual efficiency is less than 100 percent velocity ratio will not change only mechanical advantage will be affected so with the changing the machine from ideal to actual velocity ratio will not change but mechanical advantage will decrease clear